Can I get up here? I have no idea. Hey! That's not cool. Anyway. Oh. I definitely should be able to get up here based on what I just saw there. Where is it at? There it is. Just duck under here. Nice. I kind of wish these uh, baubles were a little more detailed, honestly. Alright, so, I'm guessing based on the lever that we pulled, we need to go back. And I don't know that I want to go down there, because I don't know that we can get back if I do that. I have no idea where I'm going right now. Okay, let's see. That looks like a doom level to me. Well, at least we found this. Is there anything good in here? This makes me think that there should be like a secret in here because this seems uh, awfully tiny. Like right here looks like it should totally be some kind of secret. But I see nada at this point. Wouldn't it say, like, press E or something? I think it would. Alright, well, I don't know. I don't see anything. I guess that's really it. That is one of the most uh, dull Doom level callbacks that I've seen in this game so far. Alright, so... We were over here... It looks like there's a power-up of some sort over here, and we've got an Argent cell over here. Okay. This looks like this is going to be rather tough to get around and do this stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think we have gotten a, uh, a checkpoint in a while here. So if I manage to fall, then I am screwed. I think I can make that. Oh yeah. Hey, it's a secret too. I will take that. Get the hell out of here. Asshole. Fucking caca demons. Trying to ruin my day. So it looks like the Argent Cell should be almost straight across. Is that where it is? I think I can make that. And definitely make that. Careful. This is a secret? Really? Okay. Sure. Why not? I wonder if this will make my health go low. It probably shouldn't, but I'm curious. No. Damn lost souls. Okay, let's see. That is our goal down there. That looks like that is the other rune trial. Very, very far away from us. Something else to get there. There's another bobble. Okay, so that looks like that's all forward. I mean, we could go get some armor, but we really don't need armor right now. So I think that's not going to be any use to us. I have to figure out how to get down to there. Probably somewhere down there, honestly. You asshole. So if I had jumped down and tried to go into that, that would have uh, closed on me? Is that... Oh, no. Okay. It just goes in and out once in a while. All right. Is this the right way? I think this is the right way to get to that bot down there. Yoo-hoo. Anyone home? There's the bot. 
hell do we get to that bot? Do I need to go back? <laughs> if I do, then I'm not getting it. Shit. Man, this level... It's got some crazy... Secret stuff. I do not like how they're doing this level. Because there's no way to go back once you've realized, Oh, hey, I've probably gone the wrong way for this stuff. Whoops. Alright. The hell happened to you? You look kind of, uh, like you may have fallen here. Also look a little Gordon Freeman-y. All right, so that goes that way. Hmm. It does look like there's something there. If I'm going up through here, maybe I can go over to the other side. Come on. No? Okay. Well, it looks like this takes me around to the same area anyhow. looks dangerous. Anyway, I'm not going to go back there yet because I need to figure out if I can get over to this bot. Hey, little shit. Don't you dare make me blow up anything around me. That would definitely piss me off. There's so many explosive barrels in here. I think they're trying to make you kill yourself at this point. Okay, so we want this off because this is probably how we get down to the bot. Unless there's something else around here. I don't think there is. All right, bot. Just need to figure out how to get to you. Hey, gotcha. That wasn't much of a secret, but okay. Yeah, sure, let's get siege mode for this thing. So I can't move anymore, but it looks really cool. I'll have to try this out. Oh, we've got a lot of stuff to read, apparently. Something about siege mode. All right, let's see here. The beam now has a devastating area of effect around it. Beam charge time is reduced. Uh, let's go for the area of effect. That seems like that would be really helpful. And then we'll go for that. And then this allows movement while in siege mode. That seems really good. Uh, this must just be the blood fueled. Whoops. Because I had to get that again. Something about the Gauss Cannon here. Siege mode. This modification adds an argon gas ionizer with, uh, to the weapon. When initiated, the launch chamber is vacuum sealed as argon gas is ionized until it forms plasma. When the argon has been fully ionized, the chamber is opened and a plasma beam is ejected from the weapon. Due to the precise nature of this modification's operation, safety valves prevent the weapon from discharging until the argon has been fully ionized. The precise nature of this modification's... Oh, uh... I jumped back a line. The operator must also remain stationary during charging due to the volatile nature of freeing electrons from the gas. Upon successful release, the plasma beam will penetrate multiple targets and produce a concussive blast at the final point of impact. Got something for monsters here. Um, what do we have specifically? Cybermancubus. Oh, okay, so he was definitely a different kind of mancubus. The mancubus strain of demon has long been a subject of fascination among Lazarus Project scientists. Eager to understand the biology of these creatures, a team of biogeneticists, led by Dr. Pierce herself, was formed to research and manipulate the behavior and effect 
of the creatures. And so we've got this guy who looks uh, really, really dangerous compared to the original Mancubus. Mancubus here looks kind of like, okay, he's kind of dangerous, but this guy's like, I'm in full suit of armor now, sort of, <laughs> but definitely looks more dangerous than the uh, previous guy. It doesn't really take that long to boot up if that's the boot time. All right, well, let's see, is there anything else around here? Don't think so. I think the next thing that we're going to find is going to be the armor, and that's probably going to be from uh, using the wind tunnel to go up. And then after that, we should be able to find an elite guard. Unfortunately, one of the three elite guards is left behind because I can't go back. Oh well. Can't get everything. Uh, thought I could go both ways. Apparently not. Let's see. So that would bring me up there. I think that if I do this one, it's going to be exactly the same as the other one, so why even bother? What's the uh, 54 that it's talking about? I don't even see one on my map. Whatever. Do not care. Bouncy, bouncy. Uh, this one. So yeah, if we had gone in here without turning that off, there's no way you can get back down to get that thing. Oh hey, it's you. You did come up here. Got some serious black looking eyes there. Were you possessed? You look possessed. Alright. Let's see. This is the way we need to go. I bet you if I go the other way, over here, we can find the armor. But the real question is, why would I want to do that? I've got plenty of armor. And I can't get any more armor. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you giving me the weapon that I'm already using in my hands right now. Ooh, we have already past this. I seem to have angered something. Hello? Almost passed this up. I was like, wait a minute. Ooh. That was beautiful. Come here, you little shit. Ow. A little further. Nice. Lockdown. Disengaged. Oh, I can't go back? I want it to get ammo for this. That's the whole reason I was using it. Ah, that's BS. Well, it's a good thing I didn't go through there before uh, missing out on the armor back there. Alright, so it looks like there are multiple things to find around here. I'm going to go this way first. Give me that ammo. BFG 9000. Ooh. We don't have it yet, but I want it. The theoretical design for the big fucking gun 9000 was first put forward by the R&D department in the Advanced Research Complex, and the concept was later given its own funding program. The BFG division was formed to develop a working design. Several prototype weapons have since been made. The prototypes never went into full production due to numerous testing accidents 
and the deadly radiation spikes produced. Previous versions of the weapon had slightly different energy patterns to the current generation. Some released solitary argent spheres that unleashed a deadly wave upon impact. Others formed an argent laser that cuts through anything in its path. The current prototype, the BFG-9000, creates argent streams that seek out targets and boils them alive. Okay, so somewhere around here is the bobblehead. Aha! You know, I bet you it was something like this that I could have gone into for uh, the stuff earlier. I can't even get up here. Hmm. Okay. Well, there is another way to it over on the other side. I think before going that way, though, I'm going to go over this way so that we can get this. But I'm also going to go in here and see what's going on. Now I definitely have to start looking on the ceiling, since there's stuff like that in the ceiling. I bet you that's what I missed, because I don't look up very often. I tend to be a very level thinker. <laughs> Station locked. Why, hello. Seriously, I just put that, like, in my pocket or something? <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Station locked. Station locked. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that none of these computers actually could do anything. Hey, buddy. Whoop. Miss. He's not even coming after me. The ARC is the These guys don't even care. Breakthrough fields, including BFG development, teleportation research, and cybernetic augmentation. I suppose maybe I want to save for upgrading the BFG. Maybe it would be more wise to do that. I don't know. More stuff on the BFG. We're going to get the BFG pretty soon if we're getting all this showing up here. Advocates, witness the BFG. Witness me. <laughs> what greater triumph for the glory of the ascension could there be than an entirely new prototype of weapon? Born not only of traditional UAC technology, but by your faith and dedication to the cause. This is what we strive for, an understanding beyond traditional science, unrestrained by the repressive thinking of dimensionally bound contemplation. Only through the use of SEFT can the power of such a mighty weapon be realized. Such a weapon requires not only science, but belief. While access to the BFG-9000 is strictly limited to Tier 3 advocates, you are encouraged to envision the day that you too might get to see the magnificence of its design. And if you are luckier still, experience the invigorating touch of its majestic form of Argent Energy. So, you're not going to be able to use it, but we're going to use it on you? <laughs> is what I'm getting from that. Wow. Okay, you know, whatever works for you, buddy. Is there a BFG in here or something? Because this looks awfully like some kind of power sphere for a BFG. Weaponizing demons for a larger tomorrow. <laughs> wow. Sure you are. more like getting yourself killed for a brighter tomorrow. <laughs> 